We've been up all night, Laszlo. I would prefer the opportunity to sleep and collect my thoughts. Well, the impression is fresh. We must take advantage. I assure you, the impression of a poor boy slaughtered like an animal will remain fresh, if not indelible. Yes. It is slaughter. They have been led to slaughter. Those last few moments must have been terrorizing. Is the child's terror essential to the killer's experience? Leslo, please. Only on the assumption that there's some meaning to his actions. Yes. Certainly a beggar is motivated to steal a piece of bread because he's hungry, but why does our killer do what he does? We all must be held accountable regardless of our misfortunes. I'm not speaking about accountability. I'm speaking about empathy, about understanding. Understanding? The man murders children for pleasure. This might help you to put yourself in his place. The very notion fills me with loathing. I'm quite sure a book will not change my mind. Then ask yourself why you seek the companionship of strangers. Because you enjoy it? Or are you solving a wound? Your broken engagement, your father's disapproval, your brother's death. Whatever I'm doing, I'm not butchering children! This fixation on boys. Perhaps he's reliving a physical or emotional trauma. Miss Howard, how did you cope with your father's suicide? Sarah, that does not require a response. John indulges himself with a drink. What do you do? Chrysler, that's quite enough! Miss Howard, if she wants to be of aid here, must confront her feelings because we all, in some manner, protect ourselves from psychological and emotional pain by taking action to craft fantasies of revenge, of power, of sexual gratification. So what is it, Miss Howard? What is your opiate? This is insufferable. Come on, Sarah. We don't have to listen to this. Go on, then. Both of you. Come back when you're able to look inside yourselves. Mondays at 9 on TNT.